Hi guys, welcome back for this new unboxing of this Emiko Mira X 4200. This is the second uh, successful edition uh, with uh, li uh, Linux uh, platform from uh, Amico. Uh, there is a new remote, uh, a better um, image quality and a modification on the chips uh, on the chipsets. So we will just open the box and see what is around here we can see the device up up mira x4200 with the side uh, usb two usb ports there is the ethernet hdmi the av and the electricity with a power button on off on the sides over like this and the largest there we go and over here we have uh, the HDMI cable, electricity cable, the battery and the new remote control which is a new model uh, provided with the Amico uh, boxes which is uh, well enhanced. The buttons you see there is no clicking uh, chip remote, it's very nice and smooth. Uh, nice to have it in hands with some buttons that you can parameter uh, for your TV as well over here or you can synchronize the TV buttons with the remotes basically so if we speak about um, the device uh, this device has a Ilsicon uh, quad-core ER, uh, ERM uh, Cortex A53 1.2 uh, GHz uh, that's a 4K H265 uh, decoding support. There is 1 GB of RAM of DDR3. There is 8 um, GB of uh, hard disk. Two USB ports on the side as we, uh, as we saw. There is 100 MB for the Ethernet. There is as well uh, an antenna of Wi-Fi which is handling the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz so dual band wi-fi and uh, there is the quality video output it's a 4k um, for uh, 60 uh, hertz there is a my tv inside a youtube uh, extreme uh, extreme codes stalker and there is really low um, power outage which is uh, 0.5 uh, watts so let's see inside what is uh, what all the menu looks like and uh, we will have a feedback see you soon hi guys welcome back for this uh, Mira X 4200 this uh, new V2 uh, version uh, we will go through the menu and see uh, what is inside if something has been uh, changed we will just um, go quickly through this first uh, setup so we will uh, skip it uh, here we go here is the um, default screen with certainly the the image of the tv showing up uh, the vod the series uh, over here we can go different through different apps that are already uh, installed if you want to uh, see some files through your USB device we go to the PVR there is the portal settings where you can enter the portals or your playlists over here there is the settings so basically the language settings for the audio and the, the settings uh, language at all for the device uh, if we go back we have the settings about the TV, if it's PAL, MTFS, the resolution, the screen, the aspect of the screen, uh, there is the HDMI CEC if you would like that the device is turning on with the TV uh, straight away or start on the TV when the device is uh, started up. Uh, the HDMI HDR if you would like that is automatic or um, off the auto frame rate, the EFR, uh, which is pretty cool when you watch uh, soccer or this kind of uh, things to adapt the image. 
we go to uh, video adjustments so there is uh, many bunch of uh, adjustments that you can do uh, time settings so this is pretty basics uh, for the region the LAN network if you are DHCP or static IP address uh, there is the Wi-Fi network that you can connect and the open VPN which is not really common on the Linux um, operating system uh, system option, uh, the sleep, the power option, as well the digital option, row, uh, PCM, audio description that you can change as well. Uh, we can go through over here and then uh, auto sleep, default startup, and UV skin that you can change the color, and group lists that you can do slides. Um, all this uh, setup you can change into the device which is pretty cool so i hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon for another one thank you guys for watching